Hello everybody, it's Constance from meetconstance.com. I wanted to get online real quick and do a quick summary of our February book, The Behavior Gap by Carl Richards. I really like this book. I think it simplified money uh, for me. In this book, Carl has a lot of illustrations that he's literally written on napkins to sort of drive home the points. And you know, bottom line is that we need to stop doing dumb things with money. And some of the dumb things we do with money are investing in businesses that we don't understand. M many of us, or at least me, you know, have ventured with options. I've played around with Bitcoin and a whole lot of different um, investment opportunities, not really having a full understanding. So when you stop doing the dumb things with money, you actually make saving and investment really simple. My favorite quote from the book is that, you know, investments are not the mistakes, but investors are. So that means us as investors are the ones making the mistakes when we buy into investments that don't do well. It's not the fault of the investment, it's the fault of the investor. And that simply means we really should be investing in businesses, in ideas that we understand. We understand and we're passionate about. That it's important for us to be diligent and do our due diligence before we invest. And also too, this book just made it really clear for me that you know, money is not complicated. There are some universal principles that uh, apply to money, which is save for a rainy day, you know, invest wisely in your business, take out your profits. These are just some fundamental things that we really need to be thinking about as we talk about money and as we talk about our business. So I hope you really enjoyed reading this book. I had, uh, you know, I enjoyed reading it as well and I'm looking forward to reading uh, our next two books coming up in March. Thank you very much. We have all been taught that our job as investors is to search for the investment, this sort of magical investment that is better than average. So if this is sort of the average investment, we've been taught our job is to search for this above average investment. You're gonna scour the planet, read all the research reports, keep up on all the magazines and news programs and try and find this best investment. In fact, we have a term for that in industry, it's called alpha, you know, an investment that does better than average. Now, that's a well-intentioned search for this best investment. We think that's our job. But it turns out that in searching for this best investment, it leads to behavior that ends up costing us money. So as investors, we end up doing worse than the average investment. And this gap, I can only think of one thing that leads to this gap. There may be a small slice of this gap that's due to expenses inside there or our costs of acquiring these investments. But most of it is due to our poor behavior. And so that, this gap between the average investment and the average investor return is called the behavior gap.